hey guys we will be back into this new video tutorial with osp pro now this is going to be our first complete introduction to system development with the python this is going to be our first 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 ever video made for our online platform youtube channel and also on our website osp itdictorsolutions.com and osppro.com now this video is mainly for those guys who are really new to python development who are really going to be uh who are interested in learning up uh, system development with Python. Now, I remember making up some videos back time when I was actually talking about uh, coming up with, you know, using Tkinta and a Python framework and other UI development. Now, and I also remember making up for you guys as a mobile money system using Python, the calculator and the rest. Now today we are going to just look onto the main concept behind because the guys have been asking me how do you really come up with that application, how do you really make them out, how do you really come up with that uh, system to come up maybe to solve a given problem. Now today I'm going to take the complete overview of the system development using Python or Tikinta. Maybe guys, if you have not yet happened to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please support me by subscribing to my YouTube channel. If not, so buy for me coffee so that I always have strength whenever time, you know, actually to come up for you guys a video. Now, let's just not waste a lot of time. Let me just get started now. At the moment, to cut story short, I have three versions of Python installed on my PC. I have Python 3.6, have Python 3.7, Python 3.8, you know, and Python 2.67 means sorry, Python 2.7. Now you guys are using Python 2.7. Don't forget, in 2019, Python 2.7 is going to come to an end. They will no longer be supporting that file anymore. Though you guys really have been happy to download down or you have been downloading your computers, you always been having a chance now to do it or use it. Now let me just waste a lot of time. I'm just going to create up a folder inside my desktop here. I'm just going to call it System Development. So. <laughs> I'm trying to say system developer, sorry, system development. Now remember this video is going to be like for complete beginners, those guys who really don't have no, who really don't have your complete no, basic, who has really basic in Python system development. I always have mature videos, so after this, watch this video, you're going to be in a chance to start up. Now, let me just go and make in form of a series. So the first thing is to open up our Python editor. So if you don't have it, just make sure you do this. Go to your computer and simply type Python, Python ID. So I don't have different versions of Python being installed on my machine. I have Python 2.7 and the rest. Now I'm just going to be using Python 2.7 for now because you now it's getting off. But you can actually use other version of Python. Let me just use, open it up. Yeah. So this is it. This is Python 2.7, just like I've said to you guys. And uh, this is it. So we can simply just come up on here. Now the the thing I'm going to be basing on today is always def designed or already installed by default on our PC. By the time when you happen to download the module of Python, you just definitely have the chance to you know to start up uh, programming up with the Python just by uh, typing this. Now remember, uh, initially I used to create up for you guys application with the with the console application, but now I'm looking onto uh, graphical user interface applications. That's simply with Python by default is called. Uh, Tikita. Now you simply say uh, from uh, Tikita import everything. Now that's the best way how you can actually call Tikita. Now don't forget when using Python 2.7, please. I'm using small things. I'm using small letters. My Tikita is small. Don't forget that. Make sure the first letter is small. But if you Python 2, Python 3 and above, make sure that's a capital letter. Now the other way around here. We're just going to simply say call the root main function by typing root equals to or anything which you may need to call here. You can even just say you. You is equal to having tkinter like that. Okay? Now why am I saying you equals to tkinter? I'm defining my variable. Use my div variable. Use what I've defined in my application. It's not that it's a must. It should be equal to root. You get? Now remember root is always default. We get to a default version. Default starter of now for use of the startup the development you get so uh that's why i have now my side around i'm giving it as you now for you can actually give other things you can give another stuff then the tk means actually i'm calling up the function for tkinter to start actually working up with and that's how i'm calling it if i want now to wrap it inside one on us there to pop up a screen for me don't just go and say loop no loop that this good path stuff is good fine it's going to produce for you what you need 
But remember, uh, that implies you have not called, you have not used the function you, you get, of your application. So that implies fine, ever much is the best. I don't think it's a good way to go. So you simply can't say you, or you can say root, like maybe depending on how you want to go with the stuff, say root, or whatever stuff you want to say, then it goes to you that, you get. Now inside here you say root or whatever thing you define is dot pack. So dot pack at this time around I'm not going to be using it. But remember we are trying to talk to Python to actually pack what we are trying to say which is going to be a frame. So when I hit there then I will get more time in the right way. Now I know you guys may start saying but even the other one actually worked out for me. Now I'm giving you the right way this good programming and bad programming. I've been programming at least for some good years now for something years now. I look to be young, but I know I have been at least in this field for some time. So I know what is good programming and what's bad programming. What do you need to follow at least to come up with small, nice, unique stuff that when someone sees you and view your codes can also call you a programmer. Now, this, like I've said, is a complete, complete beginners. So there's nothing big this application of us can now do at the moment. But remember, we have to come up with a complete system at point here. Now, I'll call this to be my first session for now. Remember, the system development, we are going to come up with a system until we come up at least with a complete system, which is even having a back end, you know, complete database driven application and can render all the information. So, my friend, if you find this video interesting, make sure you subscribe. But don't forget, the next video is just going to come in after this, which is going to be our second of version 2 or part 2 after this. What next? What should we start up with? What do we need to know? Well, now, we are going to, our next video is simply going to be how to start at least add something, start function, add features into our, our, our what? Into our, our frame, you know? So we don't have anything there. So you're going to learn how to, how to actually go on and adding on the frame into our application. So I wish you next time. Hope you guys are going to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, you can even tell your friend also to help me subscribe. At least let us make 1,000 by the end of this year. So God bless you. Wish you next time. Love you. Thank you.